world's tropical forests are rapidly disappearing, felled to make way for large-scale industrial agriculture. This destruction is being driven by increasing demand for palm oil, beef, soy and timber. It's having a devastating impact on the global climate, biodiversity and the millions of people who depend on forests for their livelihoods. What is doubly shocking is that much of this destruction is illegal. In the Brazilian Amazon, for example, 90% of the deforestation has been found to be illegal, and in Indonesia, it's 80%. Illegalities are common at all stages of the process. Bribes are paid to obtain rights to clear forest, regulations which demand the consent of local people are ignored, companies clear more forest than their permits allow, and the illegal pollution of streams and rivers causes even more damage to forests. Altogether, the trade in agricultural goods grown or reared on illegally deforested land is worth more than $34 billion a year. One quarter of these products were destined for the European Union. In 2012 alone, the EU imported 6 billion euros worth of beef, leather, soy and oil palm products linked to illegal deforestation. Five football pitches of forest are illegally cleared every single minute to supply agricultural commodities that are exported. Almost half of all tropical deforestation is due to illegal clearance for commercial agriculture, and half of the resulting commodities are destined for export. Products connected to illegal deforestation are everywhere. Half of all products on supermarket shelves are thought to contain palm oil and any product which includes paper, cardboard, soy, beef, chicken or pork is also potentially tainted. The largest EU importers of these products are Germany, France, Italy, the Netherlands and the UK. In total, it's estimated that around 15% of all beef in international trade was produced on land illegally cleared of forest. As was approximately 40% of palm oil in world trade and 20% of soy used to feed chicken and pigs. Although personal choices by individual consumers and voluntary commitments from companies can help, Ultimately, only governments can stop this illegal destruction. Governments of importing countries need policies to prevent the import of illegal commodities. The international community must help producer countries develop and enforce just laws. This has already been done with some success in the EU's flagship illegal logging initiative and the EU has promised to deliver an action plan on deforestation. It is time to make this a reality.